In this video, let us see about the types of earthing system. In power system, there will be a source which will be supplying the consumer equipment. So, for the supply can be a transformer or a generator which supplies the electrical appliances. There are different types of earthing system based on the manner in which this source is connected to the earth and this electrical appliance is connected to the source or it is connected to the ground. So, depending upon that there are three different types of earthing system. TN, TT and IT are the three different types of earthing system. So, you can see here in all the cases T is there, T, N, T, T, I, T. So, T. So, what does this T indicate? T means it is a French word meaning land. Normally, we will be using this word everywhere where terrain, extraterrestrial, terracotta, terrace, everywhere it will be relating to land or earth. So, it, uh, T stands for earth and N stands for neutral and I means isolated. So, based on this there are three different types of earthing system. Let us see what this alphabets indicate. So, here we can see if you take the first alphabet or the first letter in all the three cases, it is either T or I. Already we have seen T means it is represents earth or land. I means it is isolated that is it is isolated from the earth. Now, the first letter actually represents how this source is connected to the earth whether it is connected to earth or it is isolated from earth. So, this will be given by the first letter. So, we have seen that the first letter represents the source side or relationship of the power system to the earth. So, let us um, put a table and mark it what each letter represents. So, for first letter it represents the source side and this first letter is either T or I. If the first letter is T, it means that there is a direct connection of the source to the earth. So, the first letter indicates the source. If T is there that is in Tn and Tt the source will be directly connected to earth. Whereas, if you have this IT combination the source side is in source side all the live parts are isolated from the earth. Next we will see the second letter which represents the equipment side earthing. So, this second letter we can see it can be either N or T. Again N stands for neutral and T means direct connection to earth. So, this second letter indicates how the exposed conductive parts of this appliance is connected to earth. So, it can be directly connected to the source or it can be grounded independently. So, the first letter represents the source and second letter represents the equipment. So, the second letter if it is N, it means that the exposed conductive part of the equipment is connected to the neutral of the source. If it is T, there is a direct electrical connection of the exposed conductive part to earth. So, when you see the diagram for each case, you will understand the difference. The TN earthing system itself has uh, three different types TNS, TNC and TNCS. So, we know T 
stands for earth and n for neutral so here what does these uh, s indicate s means separate c means combined both c and s are are there means half of it is combined and half is separate so here we have this third letter yes um, yes c or c s yes. so this third letter will give you the arrangement of neutral and the protective conductor so what is a protective conductor it is especially used for the protection from electrical shock so yes if it yes is there the neutral and protective function are provided by separate conductors if c is there neutral and protective function are combined in a single conductor in tn s earthing system first let us see this diagram this is the secondary of a transformer so this is called the supply side and this is the equipment side or installation side okay so now for the first letter will always indicate how this source is connected and second letter will indicate how the equipment is connected okay so first letter for source and second letter for equipment so in t n s yes, earthing system the first letter is t so t means direct connection to earth so you can see here there is a direct connection to earth and the second letter is n n means the equipment is connected to the neutral of the source you can see here it is connected to the neutral of the source and this yes the third letter represents that there are two separate conductors for neutral and protective earth so the green color normally this protective earth will be indicated in green color so two separate conductors are used the main drawback of this method is that two different conductors are used so the cost will be higher and complexity in wiring as two different conductors are used the next type is tnc earthing system so we know c stands for combined so you can see in the picture the neutral and protective function are combined in a single conductor so that is called protective earth neutral so here so side it is t so it is directly connected and second letter indicates neutral it means it is connected to neutral but the third letter is c so two conductors are combined into a single one now let us see the features of this uh, tnc earthing system it is cheaper compared to the tns system because only single conductor is used but if this uh, conductor breaks or there is a damage in the uh, conductor you will get shock so this type of system is normally not preferred in tncs earthing system we can see that uh, the there are two separate conductors at the consumer side whereas it is combined to a single one at the source side here they will be using a uh, protective multiple earthing it means that the system is earthed at several points along the conductor in tt earthing system we know tt means direct connection to the earth so source is connected to earth consumer is also connected to earth so that is the tt system so this uh, in this case sometimes uh, the consumer has to provide their own connection to the earth it may not be provided by the distributor this is normally preferred for single phase and three phase installation if you see the features of tt earthing uh, system 
we have the flexibility in choosing the location and type of earth electrode but the major drawback here is that we need to install some uh, protection devices like rcd or elcb uh, to protect us uh, in case of a halt and it may result in higher touch voltage in case of tt earthing system next we have it earthing system so the first letter is i it means that the parts live parts are isolated from earth so you see here there is no connection to earth whereas the second letter indicates the equipment and this is t in this case so it is connected to earth so this is it system an important event in a, a it earthing system is the first fault it means that when a fault occurs between the face and the earth the system will continue to work without any interruption but this should be taken care of that it should be cleared immediately before a major second fault occurs so normally permanent monitoring of insulation should be done so that if any uh, fault first fault occurs it should be identified immediately and cleared so we have seen uh, different types of earthing system tn tt and it system out of this the tn s system tn cs and tt system are normally preferred for low voltage supply the it system and tnc system is not that much safe so normally not preferred for low voltage supply let us summarize what we have seen there are three different types of earthing system tn tt and it and in each case the first letter indicates how the source site is connected to the earth and the second letter indicates how the equipment is connected to the earth so the first letter it can be either t or i if it is t it, there is a direct connection of the source to earth if it is i it means that there is no connection to the earth or it is isolated in case of the second letter or the equipment side if you have a n it indicates that the equipment exposed conductive parts of the equipment are connected to the neutral of the source if it is t it means that directly connected to earth third letter will indicate how the conductors of um, protective earth and neutral are connected if they are combined in a single conductor it is denoted by tnc earthing system in tns earthing system two different conductors are used for protective earth and neutral in tncs earthing system at the consumer side we have two different conductors whereas at the source side a single conductor will be used if you like it please subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and if you have any queries you can mail to readelectricvehicle@gmail.com thank you